Guess what, Crystal? What? It's freaking Friday. That's why I'm Kate Friday, $100 Friday. We're gonna give $100 to somebody, and if they were smart enough, they brought a friend, or mm -hmm. like 60 of them, so they could get another $100. What it, That's $200 tonight. $200, I'm just gonna, we there you go. Really hey, I don't need that. dinner. What? We should really rethink that. Make it $300? Oh. I will make it $300, don't even dare me. Something you may know. Yes. We're a show, mm -hmm. right? Now, the chat box situation, we're still working on it. We're sorry about that. Now, Ustream's working out really well. There's just a delay of 20 seconds. You mm -hmm. don't spam us. I get spam all the time. Yep. People text me all the time. I have to have two phones. Hey, guess what I got? What did you get today? New iPhone. Oh, I've got it. Yeah. What Apple sent it to me. Personally. Your, your other one was in a drive-by shooting, so. <laughs> Can anybody see that? It comes up. Who has an iPhone that comes apart? You do. I do. Yeah. This iPhone, Crystal. <laughs> Somebody had it out for it. And like this iPhone, somebody wanted to kill me. But they shot the iPhone. I have a theory I'm going to be assassinated one day. Don't you, you think it's really important to become assassinated? Hence why I said one day, sucker. One day when I'm really important. I'm glad that you... Oh, my God. <laughs> I have no doubt that you will be murdered one day. <laughs> wow. Whether or not it's assassinated, we'll go with that. We'll, we'll, we'll go with that. Yeah. So that's what our show's about. Assassins. And good ones too. Mm -hmm. Assassins, good show. You like the good show? I like Assassins. Yeah. Did you say the rules of the game? The rules, oh, of the game. rules of the game. We we'll do the rules of the game. Please, we have new people. So we're going to talk about some cool stuff tonight. It's going to be about Assassins. And you sign into the chat box. Go ahead and sign in. Use your Facebook account to sign into the chat box because so that is the only way we accept answers is through our chat box. There's a little bit of a delay, so go ahead and sign in now to That's make it. sure that you're. So here's the thing. If you get the answer first, you're like, wow, I'm really smart, because most of you are not as smart as me, but you're really smart. I know you are. We're sorry. We're going to send you $100. Bow! Now, if you say, hey, man, Tom told me to check out the game, I'm going to send Tom 100 bucks too. And if you tell me Tom, Mindy, and Sandy all told you to check out the game, I'm just going to send you 200 bucks, and then and your you friends could <laughs> assassinate you for it. So, the show, Assassinations. Yes. Let's talk about, what do assassins do? I know they don't fold laundry. Well, sometimes they do, but that's not how they assassinate people. <laughs> they gun down, they poison, they drown, they stab. Just like my uncle. My uncle in Russia, this happened to him. Rasputin, I'm sure you've heard of him. Do you know what Rasputin oh. looked like? Yeah, he looked crazy. Check this guy out. This guy is insane. <laughs> that looks like a bow. <laughs> Suck it, Gil. <laughs> so Rasputin, he didn't die of being shot or hung, or poisoned. How did he die? Even, even though all those things were done to him, he actually died of hypothermia. Imagine this. He's got bullet wounds on him. Yeah. A noose. He's running through the snow. Falls into poison, the icy. And he's like, it's cold! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's cold! No! But you know that story. You saw the cartoon of it, didn't you? We thought this was a Disney film, but no. This guy wasn't drawn by Walt Disney. It's by Fox Entertainment. Yep. Did you, you know go. that? Matthew took care of that. Thank you, Matthew. Thank Matthew, you. thanks so much. I'm a little fact checker. Real assassins, mm -hmm. this is what's really cool. Real assassins, like ninjas, they're awesome assassins. Yeah. Did you see that ninja? Go to that ninja. Look at this. That's not an. Is that a ninja or is that like from Mortal Kombat? Uh, I don't know. That's a ninja. I hope that's not all his blood. <laughs> no, that's a terrible assassin. That, that's all my, anyway, so real assassins, nobody ever knows who they are. Right. Because they're good. Hello. They're what? organized. <laughs> yes. They're probably paid. <laughs> yeah, very well. Yes. Remember the jackal? I do remember Good that. Good movie, right? About With Val Kilmer? Was he in that? Bruce Willis. The Bruce Willis? I Bruce can't Willis. remember. Bruce Willis. The Jackal. Check it out. Great movie about assassins. But our, really, real assassins, we can only use Hollywood as examples because They're? we don't know what a real assassin looks like. What is your favorite assassin movie of all time? Oh, easy. What is it? The Professional. Now, this movie, Jean Reno. Put that up. Let everyone... It, Leon. If you get Leon the Professional, that's a director's cut. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. He teaches Natalie Portman, who's 12 years old, how to be an assassin in the yeah. movie. And he's so cool. And he even talks about, like, you know, nobody knows real assassins exist. Yeah. Stab people. That's exactly what we're talking about tonight. Now, there was an assassin or an assassination that yeah. seemed like it came straight out of Hollywood, but it was real. And this guy, Alexander, so blah, 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 Linkova, whatever. Hey, mm -hmm. Russia, make easier last names. Anyway, <laughs> so this guy, right, he is KGB. Right. He goes over to England. He's like, I'm going to be on my six because he enjoys James Bond like all of us. And he, they're like, stick around the sushi place, drink some tea. We'll be right back. Sipping some tea. All of a sudden he's like, oh, 
I so sick. <laughs> that was my Russian accent. I so sleepy. And he's down <laughs> on the ground crying. And he goes, I'm ill. So in 2006, this all goes down. And three weeks later, he's in the hospital. He looks terrible. And look at this picture of him before and after. This is, okay, on the left, he's a villain in a James Bond movie. On the right, he's a villain in an old James Bond movie. <laughs> <laughs> well, how did they kill him? What was in that tea? Uh, radioactive polonium? That is insane. Like, I, I mean, I, I almost don't believe that. You're an awesome assassin. Like, how are you going to kill him? I'm going to load his tea up on radioactive polonium. <laughs> Suck it. <laughs> yeah. What's with the gun? Oh, it's a lighter. <laughs> like, oh, that's a real assassin, right? Exactly. He's a real assassin, or he or she, will never know who he, who he was, and will never know why. Now, here's how it works with assassins, in my guess. Mm-hmm. Today, assassins, if you've killed somebody, and they were famous... You've assassinated him, but my friend, you're not an assassin. Mm-hmm. You're a crazed murderer, a lone gunman, a psycho. Exactly. Right? Would you say that? Most of the famous assassinations, because we know who assassinate them, it's usually for dumb reasons, really. Just dumb. Okay, here's a good one. Here's a... Never say this, because this could happen to you. I feel like going to a play. <laughs> Remember? <laughs> Lincoln announced to everybody, I'll go to the play. Yeah. And this guy on the right with the curly John head, <laughs> he's like, look at me. <laughs> Look at his hair. I'm mad at you. You've got prestigious hair. He shot him over the hair. Yeah. <laughs> that's, is that really what he shot him over? I'm not oh. sure that's what he shot him over. Then we've got revenge. Oh, that's a... For uh, President Garfield. All right. Charles Coteau. He killed him because he was upset because he didn't give him the... Uh, French. Whatever. The, Can, he wasn't made the American, this. Par- the American consulate to Paris. Tell me I'm not going to be the American consulate to Paris. You're not going to be the American consulate to Paris. <laughs> I'm going to be the American consulate of Paris. That's a really dumb reason to just murder <laughs> yeah. a president. Terrible. So, here's imagine this. You're like, hey, I'm overweight, right? Unfortunate. I read Catch and the Rye repeatedly. I live in New York City. And I love the Beatles. And my favorite Beatle is... John, John Lennon. Lennon. What are you going to do? Bow, 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 bow. Now, right what? in the street five times. And my favorite comedian, Dennis Leary, says, what kind of country do we live in when John Lennon will be gunned down? Five bullets in his chest. Yoko Ono, not one in her. Not <laughs> one bullet in Yoko That's Ono. Mean. But look at look at how crazy this person, Mark David Chapman. Look at that guy. Looks like somebody who steals dogs. Oh God! Doesn't Just he? Insane that man that, looks. And now here's the most classic assassination of them all. De- hotly debated. And never say this either. Let's drive around with the top down. Oh. Why, why shouldn't we say that, Crystal? Yeah, poor JFK. JFK. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So he's cruising around. He's in Texas. What a crazy place to get shot. Like, everyone gets yeah. shot in Texas. You're cruising around Texas, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, bullets come hailing at you. Yep. Boom in the head. Jack Yo on top. Some people say the grassy no. Some. But, but they didn't make an arrest that night. Yeah. Who was that? It was Lee Harvey Oswald. They have Lee Harvey Oswald. He's on the news. Check this guy out. This is, look at him. This man just killed the President of the United States. What the, he just created the mm-hmm. 60s, right? Yep. And. Within moments of that picture being taken. He was arrested. Well, you know, he was arrested. Right. That night, he's going through, well, I don't know, some things or whatever. Mm-hmm. And so CBS is outside. They're filming. He gets carried outside. And this is where it gets interesting. Mm-hmm. A guy runs up to him and goes, pow, right there. Suck it, Gil. And the. Live TV, he's dead. Now, what do you call somebody who kills an assassin? Cold-blooded murder. Oh. Hey, what's the next question? How are we going to give these fine people 100 bucks tonight? Tonight's question is, who killed Lee Harvey Oswald? Oh, my God. Now, remember, mm-hmm. first person to win gets $100. Mm-hmm. The person who recommended him gets $100. Now, if nobody recommended you, it's okay. We know some of you. You're only gonna get a hundred dollars. I'm sorry. sorry. Oh, why? Why? But you can have a lot of fun with a hundred bucks. You can have a. You know so what I did can... yesterday with a hundred bucks? I don't want to know. I bought socks. <laughs> One pair, I'm sure, or like half of a pair. Socks. Mm. One for each foot. Okay. Cheap socks, but a pair of socks Why nonetheless. Don't you repeat the question again. So here's the question. One more time. Who killed? Lee Harvey Oswald. Who shot Lee Harvey Oswald on live television? And remember, Somebody Lee did. Harvey Oswald is the man who assassinated JFK. That's true. So I'll help with your Wikipedia. Now, here we go. If you're using StumbleUpon, mm-hmm. you, my friends, you're not in the same chat room. And we apologize. Why is that? StumbleUpon sucks. They won't they, integrate with other social media. That's true. Now, do we have a winner yet? Not yet. Kind of. Well, I'm going to let... Here. Let's see here. I'm going to let you be this. Look at this. 
the judge. What do we have here? What does oh my God. say? So. Oh, that's so close. That's so close. <laughs> oh. All right, who do we give it to? Oh, it's it's in within a millisecond. And it really is. Uh, my friends, I'm going to announce the winner. Do you want to do it? You do it. Oh, this is a tough call. Here's what happened. Stumble upon and the Facebook in the room, you guys kind of answer at the same time. What do you think we should do? What do you think? Stumble upon? We haven't had a stumble upon winner yet. Yeah. We saw stumble upon first. Stumble upon. Jennifer, I know you're watching. Congratulations. Jennifer Harris. We're going to give you $100. Now, our first stumble upon winner. Yeah, or it is our first stumble upon winner. We, now, here's how it works. Tiffany Alexander, she mm -hmm. came in on that one with Jack Rube. Mm -hmm. and Alex, should we have given Jack Rube? No. No. That's Sorry. actually Jack, Jack Rub. <laughs> Jack, I couldn't say it. I said Jack. So now, this is what you do. You message me. <laughs> Paul Cord says you should give it to both. <laughs> Paul, I like your thinking. Uh, this is what we're going to do. We're going to send you 100 bucks. Mm -hmm. You tell us that somebody sent you this way, we're going to give you another 100 But since you was on Stumble Upon, I'm kind of thinking you, you stumbled, stumbled upon, upon us. It. So, yeah. So come to somethingyoumayknow.com. Mm -hmm. Just type in SYMK. We're everywhere. And next time you play in the room, bring your friends. And the more friends you have in the room, the faster the chances of them winning and you saying, well, I recommended them, exactly. and you get 100 bucks. Increase now, your chances. Yes, you increase your chances. Next week, we'll be back again to play this game again. Make sure you subscribe so that it, subscribe. get reminded to play the game because you also get a secret clue. Now, if you haven't got your clues, message me on Facebook, Emil Mersich, E-M-I-L-M-R-S-I-C, or ours, something you may know on Facebook, mm -hmm. and just say, hey, I haven't got my email. And we're going to make sure that they do. Yes. Did you have a fun show? This was fun. I love the show. Talking about murder. I, pow, pow. So, Jennifer Harris, enjoy your money. Congratulations. Let us know. Contact me on Facebook. And we'll send you some cash. Everybody else, thank you for playing. And we'll see you next Friday. Have a good weekend. Bye, Zs.